This is Andrea Guerrero with your News in 90. A UF law student returns home after being injured during the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. Kristen Babick was one of the thousands who attended a Las Vegas country music festival where 58 people were killed. Babick was watching Jason Aldean perform and was planning to leave early to catch a red eye back to Gainesville. But that all changed when the gunman opened fire and she was shot in the back. She was taken to a Vegas hospital with a collapsed lung. Babic says she had a lot of support from UF law students and faculty and is now working with administration to get back on track for spring graduation. Governor Rick Scott and Florida Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam are asking Congress to help the Florida citrus industry, crippled by Hurricane Irma. Scott and Putnam met with members of the Florida Congressional. They're lobbying for funds to help the industry rebuild. Officials say Hurricane Irma caused more than $2.5 billion in losses to the state's agriculture industry. Governor Scott activated a $25 million Florida Citrus Emergency Loan Program to support citrus growers impacted by the storm. The U.S. House will consider a disaster aid bill this week. The death toll is rising as wildfires continue across Northern California. 23 people have now died in the fires and hundreds are still missing. The fires have been burning since the weekend and the fire teams have not been able to contain them. Shelters have been open to house families who are in danger zones. In Napa, one of the hardest hit areas, the fire continues to intensify, making it one of the most destructive and deadly fires ever. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.